We are a 17-year-old uh, technology company from New Zealand uh, with global offices. We optimise uh, fast food restaurants with digital technologies, including uh, kiosk, digital signage, computer vision. What makes our solution unique is it's, we're blending different technologies to create different outcomes uh, and different solutions. So we're using big data, computer vision, uh, interactive um, uh, kiosks, digital signage and displays to be able to blend it all together and then create uh, a, a really positive outcome. And our staff member, our focus is really around the staff member and optimization of those restaurants and helping their, um, their perform better than, than the, what they are today. So it's extending sort of human potential is really what gets us up in the morning. Um, and we do that by you know, tracking things around the restaurant with, with, uh, with computer vision. We've got a extremely um, robust and, and very accurate system for timing and tracking customer journeys through predominantly through the drive through and we send that data and little bottlenecks that we're seeing back into the restaurant in real time. Obviously the kiosks play a different role, they free those staff members up from doing quite a mundane task of, of taking a transaction. So we're putting staff into more valuable places and then what we're trying to do when they're in those places is send them messages and subliminal training to actually help them perform better in real, in real time. So um, showcasing here, obviously our kiosks, we've been building kiosks for about 15, 16 years, so this is kind of where we started, hence the name. Um, and as, we, as we've evolved, we've got into digital signage, and then we've also got into um, more of that sort of big data um, vision analytics platform, which is our uh, product over here, which is called IQ. Um, we've been developing this for, with enterprise customers for six years now, so we're probably the oldest kid on the block in terms of, uh, in terms of the um, dive into that type of technology, um, which is now becoming more and more commoditized as it stands. But what we deliver is not just about the technology, not just about computer vision. It's what it's, it's those really tricky data pieces that we're trying to capture, understand, and then trigger when we see it happening um, to the people that need it most. Um, generally, shift managers and 15-year-old kids under pressure. So um, the system really is sets up with general CCTV. Um, we put a server in, in, at the edge and in the restaurant and then we track and, and basically our models just train and retrain themselves um, to get the highest level of accuracy when we start to see things. Now we started there but what we realised is that <clears throat> there's going to need to be a lot more of this data leveraging cameras and sensors. So what we decided is, is that instead of us being told what to track and trace, uh, we would get the, our customers to actually come along on that journey and help us detect what's right and what's wrong. Um, and then that would then in turn give us training data that would help train our system to be really accurate and then interventive um, instead of retrospectively interventive. So ideally we want to get to predictive and see things before they're going to happen and then alert. Um, but right now we've, um, we're getting some really great results about just being in, in interventive in real time. Um, and that's our system um, IQ monitor, which is about to play. So this is a, basically a training platform. So what we're doing is using um, our AI, light AI over the top of uh, the camera feeds. And we're basically putting this into different scenarios that the restaurant may want to try and track and see when things happen. So it might be when somebody uh, doesn't, through a period of time, doesn't open the second window, for instance, and start operating out of that second window. Because our data from the drive-through knows that, that if you open that second window post the, the, the rush, then you're never going to get that spe velocity speed back. So what we want to try and do is train the system to know at this certain time is that if there's no one at that Spa um, that, that station and opening that window then will alert somebody to, to be able to do it. Um, another scenario would be we've got a customer that wants to deliver food and deliver a, um, their, their aim across all of their restaurants is to, to be able to deliver um, a car out of the drive through every 17 seconds. Phenomenal stats but they're proving they can do it in their, in their best restaurants and which they've mapped but they've got 3,000 restaurants and they need to get consistency across the whole lot. So they're using our camera system to detect and track and train the system to, to know exactly when those, the, 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 how fast those cars are leaving. And then when we see a, a dip in that performance, we start recording in these two other areas around the restaurant, which have the, 
they, they kind of have the biggest impact into that speed of service of, of delivery. So what we're then doing is, is tracking to see what went wrong, why did they slip on two or three seconds, and then we're recording that, and then we're sending it to the people that need to see it in nice files, and then you'll actually start to be able to break it all down through drop-down boxes, and, and then what that does, it helps us know from an intelligence perspective, an AI perspective, that this is where the, uh, the system needs to look and it needs to detect and understand next time. So you need a lot of training data to, make, to get the accuracy of these models really high um, so they know when they know they're seeing something, it is exactly what they're seeing and they need to alert. Otherwise you get false positives and you start having reverse effect on operations. So it's a really cool process. Um, it took us six years to sort of, we could see it happening, but now we've built the platform which actually allows this to happen. So we're pretty excited about it and the response today has been, you know, in the show where we've launched it, has just been phenomenal. So we're right, um, obviously, listening to our customers and, and building things that they actually need today. We've found the show, you know, it's been great to see the energy back. Um, obviously, we, we'd be from a New Zealand, we were stuck on a little island in the bottom of the world for a few years, so you know, we're all frothing to get back out there. So it's been, uh, it's been really cool, like, the show's great. You know, the more time you spend in this industry, we've been in it for 15 years, but the more time you spend in the US industry, it, you know, you certainly feel it's, it's like a big family. Um, you know, it's the same people here, same vendors, so you, you start to build really good relationships and friendships. Um, and enemies as well, of course. <laughs> it wouldn't be without a few enemies. So, um, but yeah, so we're, we're, you know, all in all, the show's so well organised. The speakers, I think, are great. Um, so you learn a lot, um, and yeah, you have a good time.